Have you ever heard terms like plinth area, carpet area, floor area, and setback area, but don't know what they mean? Today, we'll break down the different types of areas in a building, explained simply. By the end of this video, you'll understand which areas are included in a building plan and why they matter. First, we have the plinth area, also called the built-up area. This includes the total covered area of the building at the floor level, including walls and columns. Formula. Plinth area equals carpet area plus wall thickness. It does not include areas of loft, open terraces, or external areas, open or service stairs case, vertical sun breaker, architectural band, cornice, mumty, courtyard, machine room, etc. The plinth area is 10 to 20% more than the carpet area. Next, the carpet area. This is the actual usable space inside the building where you can place furniture and walk around. It excludes wall area, veranda, corridors, passages, entrance hall, porch, staircase, stair cover, lift shaft, bathroom, machine room, kitchen, etc. Formula. Carpet area equals plinth area minus wall area, veranda, corridors, passages, entrance hall, porch, staircase, etc. This is the most important area for property buyers because it tells you the actual living space. Now let's talk about floor area. It includes the total built-up area of all floors, including staircases and corridors inside the structure. Floor area is crucial for calculating the FAR, floor area ratio, which determines how much construction is allowed on a plot. Formula. Floor area equals plinth area minus wall area. What about the space outside the building? That's the setback area. It's the open space around the structure left for ventilation, light, and safety. Every city has different setback rules to ensure buildings aren't too close together. Formula. Setback area equals total plot area minus built-up area. Finally, we have the circulation area, the spaces used for movement like staircases, lifts, lobbies, and corridors. Without circulation space, buildings would be inefficient and difficult to navigate. It is classified into two types. One, vertical circulation area, staircase, lift, equals 4-5% of plinth area. Two, horizontal circulation area, corridor, passage, balcony, veranda, lobby, equals 10-15% of plinth area. Let's quickly summarize the different areas in a building. Plinth area floor level footprint includes walls, carpet area usable space inside, excludes walls, Floor area total area of all floors setback area open space around the building circulation area movement spaces, stairs, corridors. Now you know the different types of areas in a structure. Next time you buy or design a building, make sure you check these measurements. If you found this video helpful, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe for more civil engineering content.